Let's talk about your face and exactly what it evolved to do. So what is a face? Well, a lot of it, of course, is just skull meat and sensory organs that allow us to breathe in this sense world that we live in. But we also fall into the trap of thinking of our face as who we are. And then when we want to change who we are, well, that's when we start tinkering with the face. So what do we do? Well, we slather it in cosmetics, right? We grow all sorts of weird facial hair arrangements. We get tattoos, we get piercings, and then we forget that the face is also a communications array. The face is like a speaker, constantly blasting the world with a chorus of seven primary emotions. That's happiness, sadness, fear, anger, surprise, disgust, and contempt. Along with various micro expressions as well that are just there for just fractions of a second. In fact, a 2008 study from the Czech Republic found that facial expressions alone can speak a thousand different words, actual words. All this communicated without even opening your mouth. So then start thinking about how every tattoo, piercing, bit of facial hair, or cosmetic layer actually ends up eroding that facial vocabulary. So where does all of this come from? How does it evolve? A 2012 study from UCLA looked at 129 different primates from Central and South America. They looked at primates that had crazy wild faces and they looked at primates that had very conservative plain faces. And they found something really interesting. The more solitary a species, of of primate, the crazier the faces tended to be, while the more social animals tended to have very plain faces. Now that might sound kind of backwards to you. It sounded backwards to the researchers as well when they first started getting these findings in. Because you think, all right, if I'm just an individual in a large social group of primates, wouldn't I want to stand out? Wouldn't I want to be this desirable mate with the crazy hair? Or wouldn't I uh, want to be able to identify my fellow primates by looking at them and saying, oh, well, he has red hair and he has uh, purple or whatever. See, it all comes back to the idea that the face is also this community communications array. So the plainer my face is, the better I'm going to be able to communicate with everyone else in my rich, large, complex social group. So what are you trying to say with your face? What are your accessories saying about who you are? Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment below, you can leave a video response, and don't forget to subscribe so you can check out even more mind-blowing videos.